See this? It's a Ciro big ass drink holder. Yeah, I bought one. I installed it. I tested it. All in today's video. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to do it and easiest. So stick around. Now I can drink my coffee when I'm riding. Stay more animated. Let's get started. All right, here we go. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an upgrade on my 2019 Street Glide. This Ciro big ass drink holder. Yep, says it in the name, holds big ass drinks. But we're gonna throw it on here. And of course it has to be really windy while I'm trying to record. But anyway, let's go see what's in the box. What's in the box? Of course in the box, you get the cup holder itself, but you get a pair of spacers and two different kinds of bolts, which we'll get back to in a minute. You get instructions for the perch and the drink holder. And I opted for a chrome one. Uh, just a little touch of chrome to accent the gauge trim rings that I have on my bike and a little bit of other chrome stuff. Uh, even though my bike is a 114, it's been blacked out. So anyway, uh, tools you're gonna need. You got a T27 Torx bit, 530 seconds bit, 530 seconds Allen key, a 3 8 inch driver, and the secret weapon, blue Loctite. So let's go over to the bike and start with step one. Step one is gonna be removing the two Torx bolts that hold your left side controls together. So let's do that. Now for this, I'm just gonna remove one at a time so that I don't lose the positioning of my controls here. So like I said earlier, Ciro sends you two different bolts. One has a finer pitch than the other. So what they say is to compare your bolt, which on my bike is this one, and see how it compares to the thread pattern on the two bolts they sent me. So I can see that this one right here is the one I'm gonna use on this bike. So let's go get our thread locker and the spacers and replace this bolt. All right, so we're gonna get this bolt started, but first I'm gonna put a little thread locker on it. I'm gonna do this somewhere other than over the bike because nobody wants to drop thread locker on their bike. Yep, and I don't know if you can see that, I just got too much on there. So you're gonna shake a little bit off. There we go, put our cap back on. All right, so I've got the perch threaded on here like so, as you can see. Uh, I've got the spacer in the back of it there and I've got some thread locker on it. We'll go ahead and start this guy and we'll just start it by hand, get a couple of threads to grip there, tighten it down just a little bit, just enough to hold. There we go. And now the perch can sit there while we take the other bolt out. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead, set that aside, I'm gonna rotate this back up and uh, tighten it down a little bit more. Get our perch lined up. Give it a few rotations here. And this will hold it in place while we go prep the other bolt. We're gonna slide it through, insert our spacer, and then just a little dab of thread locker on the bottom, on those threads. There we go. And then rotate it into place. Drop the screw in, our bolt here. We can start the hand tighten, and then we'll grab our Allen key. And hopefully I fixed the earlier part of the video, but their instructions say 530 seconds, but 3 16 is what fits the bolts they sent me. And then I'm gonna switch to the long way, snug it down. And I'm gonna do this in a pattern here, go one and then the other, and that one's pretty tight. And that one's pretty tight there. I think that's good. That's not going anywhere. So now we can put our big ass drink holder on there. To install the big ass drink holder, slide the ring, threads facing out. There's a sort of closed end here, but you want the threads facing out. So we'll slide that over the ball, pop this guy on. It takes a little bit of force. I actually took the display model out to my bike to see how it would look. <laughs> I 
So I took it off their display at the dealer yesterday. And once it's on, kind of rotate it up so it's level. Get your threads lined up, tighten it down. You can adjust it as you see fit. I think right about there is good. Snug it down real good. And that baby ain't going anywhere. See how my coffee fits in it. Ta-da! And now what you, they say to do is to loosen it and adjust as you see fit. So for me right here, this is blocking where it was. It was blocking my view of the controls, um, turn signal and stuff. So we're gonna rotate this guy over a little bit like so. It's pretty level, snug it back down. Job done. And that's about where I normally have my, uh, my rider view when I'm riding and doing my vlogs. And it's not in your way, and it's not in my way, and it works. So let's go for a quick ride, test it out. This is some of the bumpiest road I could find. My coffee cup ain't going nowhere. That's a double negative. Yes, I used it in public. Too bad. <laughs> Every geezer glide needs a cup holder. All right, first test. Zero to 50, because I think that's the speed limit here. Will it hold on? Yep. Cup cup stayed right there. That's test number one. Actually, I guess that was test two because test one was that corner. Obviously, I didn't scrape any hard parts, but uh, got the bike leaned over and it stayed on there. So that's tests one and two. So yay for poor planning. What other tests should we do? Oh yeah, let's drink from it at speed. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. Refreshing. <laughs> coffee, coffee lovers of the world rejoice. I think this thing's really cool. I, um, yeah, I've been looking to get one for about a year and I just never pulled the trigger until the other day. So yay for me. But they're about 80 bucks with the perch and everything. They didn't have the blacked out one, but I think it looks all right with the other bits of chrome. And the chrome parts you don't even see from here. I mean, hell, my blue coffee mug, that thing uh, shines brighter. But that's a really cool look. You can just drop it in and it holds it. Don't tell my wife that this is what I used her coffee mug for. I got a brand new one of these at the house. I didn't want to risk damaging it. <laughs> I'm such an <laughs> I love being me. Do you love, no wait, you love being you, right? I love being me. Ah, now I can stay energized on my rides. Yahoo! <laughs> and it keeps my throat from getting parched, which is another benefit. I do not, however, recommend drinking from uh, bottles there that you have to take the cap off because if you don't have cruise control set, hey, you could wreck. So keep that in mind. Let's go around this corner pretty quick too. Except my camera got funny. <laughs> the wind blew my camera over. I don't have it tight enough in the mount. That's the installation and testing of the Ciro big ass drink holder. I think it's called. And I like it. I'll leave product links in the description below for the tools I use. And of course the cup holder itself. If you want to make a purchase through my Amazon affiliate account with no extra cost to you, but it helps out the channel, please do so. I appreciate it. And until I see you again, keep the shiny side up. Ta-da! Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh man. And you just drop it in, it holds it. It's so cool. I'm really impressed and it makes me giggle at the stupidest things. Am I right? <laughs> Goodbye.